it's getting there. Michael did actually have to ask for my help again, you know. <laughs> But I'm not surprised because these stones are really, really heavy. But you can lift these on your own, yeah, can't you? as big as you want, honestly. You get any bigger. So look, we've got Tara up there. We've got Jamie on. And we've got Lindsay. And then there's one more cornerstone on this side to go, which is Anne. She's sitting down here at the moment. She'll be on the top run now. She will be on the top run by the end of the day. I'm not sure about quite today, but tomorrow. No, no okay. Tomorrow. She'll be up tomorrow. It's a bit to go yet. And then I, I just traumatised you when I started talking about the possibility of putting benches in the stone wall behind you. It's not so bad. All, all it means right is you wall up to a certain height, put a piece of slate, you know, like blue flag in mm. there. The only thing is then even more coins, because you've got to have coins like these coin stones, not round, but like this. So that's another four or five each side there, and another four. And I'm going to need them for here, for there, for the windows, for that corner, and it's run. you know, we will run out. We'll never run out of stone. No, cornerstones. Oh, cornerstones. We'll have to go digging around the farm oh, yeah. and see what else we can four, find. Four or five already, but we'll find them. Yeah, but in this wall, wouldn't it be fabulous to have like a little low jubbers height bench and a Hoitzer height I've bench? Got one some for pictures. My brother's put two or three in his wall. Yeah. I've put one in ours, but it's for, it's only that high because it's for mill. Mm. And the reason they were done, you know, down at Ainsome here at the mill. Yeah. The back house there, it's called the bee house, and the whole wall, you'll have never driven in and had a look, but the whole wall of the house has squares in there. It was for beehives to go in. Oh, really? Well, for bee, you know, like honeybee boxes. Yeah. Like hives. And there's about 10 or 20 holes in the hole. It looks amazing. Oh, you can wow. See it. Cause I'll show you some pictures of my brothers and the one that I've done at ours, and I'll show you. Okay. And then we replicate. Two in our house in Cartman as well on the it was just Tamara who put the idea in my head this morning when she was looking at beautiful she's stone art. All these different things. I know, even things like trees that you can do in stone. But if you um, don't do it now, it's too late. Yeah, exactly. So you know, we might as well do it now. Get one chance I say we might as well do it now. You might as well do it now. Yeah. Right. Is that a face of fear? Yep. No, a, quiet no confidence. it's quiet, quiet confidence. confidence. It is quiet, quiet confidence, confidence, and you're going to get the pep talk from Gary yeah. and from Anne all the way there. Yeah. But join me and everyone in wishing Lisa the best of luck. To some people, they would say it's just a walk, yes. as we know. Yeah. But for you, you're facing some of your biggest fears. Yeah. Look at that. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Wins the race. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Have an amazing day. Thank you. Hopefully some of this fog clears up. You oh, need to blow it all away, Anne. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to regular port reports throughout the day. Yeah, yeah you'll get them. Definitely. Wonderful. Good luck. Okay, thank you. And cuddle bear. I will. Thank well, it's not the nicest of days, is it, for Lisa and Anne climbing up cat bells. And it's very grey and dreary on the farm. And it's quite quiet today. Well, it was until Don't until these two arrived. Right right so we've oh, got yeah, Craig yeah, and Ryan there, there from Vulcan Electrics, and they're well, doing a very important job today. Is. We have a little extra going into Bessie's barn, very kindly sponsored by Lindsay. In here, we are going to have another solarium. And this is actually going to become not just a stable, but a winter washdown area. So they're getting all the electric cabling in place, which will feed back to our main control board in the barn here. And then we're gonna to have to think about the plumbing and getting another of these hot horse showers positioned inside the barn. So on those really wet, cold, horrible days, 
when we're having to get the boys and girls all clean and tidy, we'll be able to wash them down in a nice dry barn and they'll be able to dry out under the solarium and not get a chill. Well, the Polaris couldn't have arrived in better time on a more grey and drizzly day. So, sorry, this is the cleanest you're ever going to see her. It always used to be a rush to get the feeds on the front of the quad and get through the barriers before these guys ate them. But now, because we have this on the back, we can put the feeds in there. And to upset Hida, sorry little floppy do, although you're actually very good, you don't usually pinch the feeds. It's usually Annie. We can close it in. Little things, isn't it, Hida? Even our little trailer fits on the back beautifully. Chris yeah. has just had a look at Hoitzer. Um, go on. What what have we agreed? Mm, we don't know really. No. To be fair, no. Doesn't look like an abscess. So yeah, we will just have to have a few days see what happens. So you've dug out around the white line just because there are a couple little of little tiny spots little where of grit, but yeah, nothing really to. But he has got a little bit of a fat leg, so... He has. He's tweaked his cell a bit, he might have done. So we'll keep him poulticed over the weekend, and then Chris is back on Monday. We'll pop the shoe back on and see see how he looks with it back on. But it might just be that he needs a bit of rest for a little bit longer. He just wants to stay in. He just I'm wants his help. It. It's raining. It is, <laughs> yeah. He just wants his house yeah. built very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. But it's getting there, and we can't chase Michael any more than we are already. Hey, Hoitsy. Here's little Yodel. Had her in for a couple of days because she just looked a little bit off colour and a little bit more uneven than usual. So for those who don't know, she's the one with the twisted right shoulder. She has one shoulder bigger than the other. And her footfall isn't completely level because it can't be because of the way her legs are twisted. So whether she was just feeling a little bit more uncomfortable with the weather changing, not quite sure. But I did just get Chris to have another look at her just to check that she didn't have an abscess brewing or anything unpleasant like that. And she seems bright and happy enough to come down and join the rest of the girls. Because she is the boss out here and that's how I knew that she wasn't quite right. Because she actually let her, her older sister Nika pinch her food the other day, which she doesn't generally do. Are you ready to go back out with your, your girlfriends now? There we go. Back out with everyone. Let's see if she pushes everyone away from the hay bar. She pulled faces at Mabel straight away, so maybe she's back to her old self. But I'll just keep an eye. Hello, Zhao. You can look after your big sis. Hey, hey, special. Oh, special. That's right. You clean my hands. That's it. Electrics all in place with a nice little cupboard to make sure that when the horses are in here loose, they're not going to mess with the controls. There's the boys. Honey's there. Little Angel Eyes. Uber. Nero. And Iceman at the back. They've been very nice and stayed that side of the turnout. While I give their shelters a bit of a clean out. And now I'm going to take trailer full of muck with the Polaris that I think the general consensus on name appears to be bear which I love it's like the polar bear but I haven't chatted with everybody else about it yet so I'm not quite sure whether that's exactly what we're going for but thank you everybody for all your suggestions so far I've had to give her him her him I think if it's bear, 
It's got to be him. I had to give him a little wash down. How long that'll last, us washing him down every day, I really don't know. But at least he's clean for going back into his barn for the night. I think you'll all agree that this is absolutely perfect for Bear. And especially when you think that thanks to Joy Duxbury, he also has a star up in the sky named after him. So from now on, our Polaris is going to be called Arthur. Oh, you tired? Eh? My little man. There's Dow Dow. Still enjoying her time up here, although I think she's been looking longingly to go back down to the field. So maybe she can go out there over the weekend, just for a bit of time in the day. There's Hoitsy Poitsy. He's got one of his number one fans coming to see him in the morning. Peg, he's going to come and have a lovely time with you in the Friendship Barn. Yes, you get some extra pampering tomorrow. And then we've got Rem Pen, who's also going in the Friendship Barn tomorrow with a gentleman that's coming along with his mother who sadly suffers with Alzheimer's, which a lot of us know all about. We obviously know about it with our mum. And this lady has apparently had horses in the past and I'm sure she's gonna absolutely love spending some time with Ren and hopefully it will bring back lots of lovely memories for her. Good morning, children. Have you made a big mess in the barn overnight? Jubbers, are you the ringleader? They don't look like your poops. Good morning, little man. Morning, Doubtson. Here's the hoitsy poitsy. Are you ready for breakfast? Yeah? Who else we got? Good morning, sweetheart. Oh, good morning. Oh, there's a big nose. Now don't bite Doubtson on the bottom, that's really rude. You see, he still doesn't like people in his personal space, even when they're outside the stable. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Wren. Wren only stayed in last night because she had a bath yesterday. Oh, who's coughing? Hidda's coughing over there. We little jubbers. Prince Cool looking particularly grubby this morning. Right, I'll go and find you some brekkie. We've got the lovely Peg here no. and Lisa there. And we've not spoken about it this morning, no, we, really. Oh, no. But no, 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 you're I absolutely right. I tears yesterday. No, you did well. It's yeah. fabulous. It, An achievement. You see, that's what everybody it's feels, about, Lisa. It's not about the success. No. It's the fact that you, you did it. Mm. You know, you put your fear on the line and you did yeah. it. That's yeah. And I now about. know I can't do any climbing challenges. Which is fine. Which is yeah. fine. So I have to There's think of something else to do. Yeah. Do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you Any suggestions, that thing. please forward them to us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to get all oh. sorts. Oh. Um, going in a in a beehive because we know how much you love bees yeah, and wasps. Not sure about that. I tried That's that. That's only because ones. It was for me. It wasn't very. I did it, but I wouldn't be doing it again. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then my partner on the other hand, he absolutely loved it. And my best friend, she did it because I bought it her for Christmas. And she's got four hives now. And she's oh, a beekeeper. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's where the honey comes from for you, Jim. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I had really some nice. of that last night. Oh, did you? It's Look quite strong, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's my best. Yeah. No, it's very, very tasty, though. Good, good, good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure that everybody on here is very proud of you. We're Absolutely. all proud of you, Lisa. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and tears are fine. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But it would have been nice if you'd had a day like today, it yeah. wouldn't it? It would have been, it? but I still don't think I would, could have done it. No. And with, and you made the head. right call, because yeah. otherwise you'd have been having to give all the donations to the air ambulance, yeah. which would have only been the <laughs> right thing to do. i on North West TV going, oh, they have to be airlifted off yeah, of cat bells. Yeah, but that in itself takes courage to, to say, I can't go I any further. I need to go, you need yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. don't need to put yourself in danger, or anybody else no. for that no. matter. no. It's you only when you get older amazing. you learn how to say no, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? it. Yeah. <laughs> that comes with old age. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, Peg, you're off here for a very important I'm reason. Miss you, this young man. This young man. Yeah. Look at you, Hoitsy. Right, you've got to go and cuddle Peg. He says, "Are there are there things for me in that bag?" No, there's nothing for you. Oh. You've got loads of people bringing you stuff. Oh. Right, let's get him round there. Oh
Renska's feeling a little bit put out this morning because Doubts and Annie and Hida have all gone off wandering down the footpath and left her up here on her own. The only one in sight is little Mr Jubbers up on the hill. Weeks is in the friendship barn. So it's just you and me, Ren. But we're going to do a little bit of groundwork and then hopefully next week we'll be able to get everybody out for a nice live hack. Do you remember how this gateway works? It took them a while to come from the top field. Well, hello boys. Hello Nero. Hello Hannes. Uber, you scared the living daylights out of me this morning. He was lying down flat out in the field. I looked out the bedroom window and thought something at all awful had happened. So I was very, very happy when I saw you suddenly sit up. Always a terrifying sight. Are, are none of you happy because we didn't bring your feed out? We've only come down to bring a couple of you in. Oh, Uber's got a treat ball. All right, Iceman. We will come down with your feeds in a bit, I promise. That's not good when our back's turned. <laughs> but he managed to turn round in there somehow. Oh my goodness, Frey, at least you spotted him. Nero, why? Just because you can. I just come round. It's Kaz. It, it's Kaz's hay hole, isn't it? It is. It, it is. is definitely. Yeah. It's warm. It's cosy. The smells beautiful. And it's you've just, got helpers. I have. I have. I love it when they're here. I love it. The good little workers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they empty the nets for you. Well, sort of, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. That's the little, what they get for helping me. So yeah. It's not a big thing. You do look really cosy down. Stay here longer, which is what I want to do. Oh, shall I go and get you a coffee Please. to have in there as well? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go and do that. <laughs> We're just having coffee time, and Annie's just barged past Lisa because she needed to go for a pee. She's now on her way back out and just demanding neck scratches before she leaves. And then when she's ready, she'll just push you out the way again <laughs> and head back Aww. over to the hay hole where Prince is taking full advantage of the fact that Anya's not there and helping himself. Jubbers doesn't really care because he's not that intimidated by the big ones. You on the move? Oh, you're, you're coming to Frey now for neck scratches? Yeah, yeah. Frey, please, could you do the honours? Well done. Well done. Annie, you're doing a good job of training everyone. Oh, she says that's a spot, Frey. Yeah, just, just under the cheekbones there. That's always a good place. Yeah. She says, I'll say when I've had enough, Ray. Hey. At least she's not trying to pinch your chocolate. There you go, Annie. You've had a leg wash. It's a very important thing for her, especially at this time of year, because she does have problems with the skin on her legs. So I have to keep them cleaned and the skin kept nice and soft and supple. Otherwise she gets very sore bits in there. And now the weather has really turned. It's not very nice. Oh, look, there's Arthur. Arthur Bear. 
There's Nero and Dow. Oh, Dow's telling Nero off. Sharing the haylage in the rain. So we've got Tristan, Sue, and, uh, and we've got go. Tristan over here and Sarah. and Sarah. So it was Tristan's birthday yesterday, I believe. Yeah. Yes. My birthday present was to bring mum and dad to uh, a Frisian experience because mum and dad used to have a horse when we lived in South Africa. And I thought it would bring back amazing memories and make a very amazing memory for today as well. So oh my, my birthday was my, my gift for my birthday was the experience. Oh, and from, buddy. And from our point of view... Oh, it's, really it's on camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thank you, so Mama. We were horsey people in the past when we were in Cape Town. But to come here today, we first went to the Buddhist uh, temple, which was an experience. Oh. This. Oh. Something else. It's taking my heart Something away. Something else. <laughs> and for oh, older people who loved horses and oh. ridden horses for years in South Africa, it's just heaven. Thank you so space, much. Tracy, Lovely. Keep it going. It's beautiful. We will keep You're it going. Happiness to so many people. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wonderful. And we love having visitors. And as I said to you, you will have made Renska's afternoon because she will have thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it as well. Well, she She's almost finished her store, by the way. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, bless you. <laughs> And we'll share on here some of the lovely pictures that you've got during the session. We're now going to go and have a look at stable stays. Aww. Maybe that's the next visit. Thank you so much, my love. It's been lovely. So we've got your details. Anytime you're welcome. It's been lovely to meet you. But I think next time we'll come and help clean out the stable. <laughs> and, and, and There's help. always plenty of poo picking to do. Yeah. Always. Yes, Brilliant. I did that. Thank yeah. you very much. Good bit of teamwork going on here. A bit of pressure washing always goes down well. Clearing up all the mud that accumulates on the yard, not just from the free rainers, but from washing everybody down when they come in. And it gets to the point every now and again where it's just so disgusting that we have to give it a good clean. Hidder's supervising, Kaz and Freya clearing up all the extra slop. And no doubt it will be back to square one by this time next week. But it's nice to start a day with it all clean and fresh. And of course, because I've got the pressure washer out, Arthur has to get a clean as well before he goes back in. There we go. We can end the day much cleaner than when we started. And then you can all make a big mess of it again overnight. Can't you boys? And the girls, wherever they are. Oh, look, isn't that nice? Hidda's eating next to Hoitzer. And they're being friends. Well, as much as they can ever be friends. The other thing I should say about Hoitzer is you'll notice he's got a bandage on his back foot now. And when I was cleaning him this morning, I discovered something that doesn't look very nice and I am slightly worried that it's a growth of some sort. They can get keratomas in their feet. So I'm going to get Chris to have a look at that on Monday and see what he thinks and see whether there's anything else we need to do to help it heal up or whether it's indeed going to need removing. Thank you for the laughter, thank you for the tears, thank you for the moments that we hold dear.